Oh yeah, about to get my cinema stash rehash on. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, what? Oh yeah. Podcasting from Chico, California, and home of the world's largest functional yo-yo. They are Cinema Stash Rehash. Join them as they talk movies, make fun of them, and discover how they fuel your everyday life paranoia. Let me welcome you to... We are back. Back again. We are back. Yeah, you can't get rid of us, really, I don't think. Well, you can. Uh, you just gotta. You just gotta stop pressing play. I guess that's true. Don't stop it. But, though. but do <laughs> but not don't, stop. But don't uns- unsubscribe. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, seriously. No, keep keep pressing play because we love it. And if you like it, you know, like us on Facebook and all that shit, and tell us what you want to hear. Anyway, we're back, back again, and uh, or do or do, yeah. you know, who cares? <laughs> no, we care. I'm just kidding. So I feel like uh, we've been doing some stuff, and I feel like we need a good fantasy. I felt that's like we true. needed a, a pretty good fantasy, and so. In the, in the spirit of like, especially with you know the the Game of Thrones going crazy and Lord of the Rings and all that shit, I think this we need to pay a little homage to this this movie, just uh, get a little props to it because it's quite great for 1988, and we're doing Willow, Willow, Willow tonight, Yay. and I'm here with White Campbell. What's up, people? And Chris Matson. Mm, it's good to be back. Yes, kicking it off again, and uh, Willow. I mean, it's just one of those. I mean, I'm not gonna get it, like into a, like a super, you know telling you really what it's about i'm actually going to read what it says in the first part of the film like right it kind of gives you a little bit of a, a speak of what it, what it's about is it there some, some words to read yeah i mean you know yeah, yeah. uh so i'll just read that and that kind of gives you basically what's going on it, it is a time of dread sears have been f- been told that a birth of a child will bring about the downfall of the powerful queen bav morda seizing all pregnant women in the realm the evil queen vows to destroy the child when it is born and for some reason, it falls on to a little dwarf or uh, Elwin or however, whatever it said that they're actually yeah, called. Um, Peck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, so before we go any further, so I don't get anybody angry, is is Peck an actual word for for something? No, nah, I think that's sort of like offensive. derogatory I think it's made term. Up. This movie is just full <clears throat> of Lucas's Yeah, Yes. Ton, you know, like, like, tons for sure. But I'm just wondering, before I call them Pecks the entire time, was that derogatory to some I don't, anybody? I, right I, I think that's them being derogatory to them. Yeah, yeah I think it's a made up derogatory yes. word in this. In Towards this Elwin, so that's okay. So it's definitely not a them. nice word. Oh, I'm sorry. Peck. Peck. Peck, 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 peck. No, it is. Yeah. Uh, it is obviously used as a. Get out of here, you peck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, basically dwarves. You know. Well, then I won't say it. For, for some reason, yeah, they he he's bestowed upon this major. Uh, the baby quest. Had, she liked him. That's he was why. he was just he was liking life as just a farmer and an awful magician. <laughs> and then this uh, <laughs> this this little baby who, let's face it, like you know, had probably the the greatest stroke of luck getting on this little uh, boat of, of made of grass or whatever and, but, not, and not hitting any rapids so I mean it's it's fate as it is yeah but I have to wonder is this the first movie that we can actually say that did the let's put a child on the uh, you know river raft of adventure and see what happens uh, there, I, the, I feel like there's been more of these isn't that how the penguin was created in Batman <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> you see yeah. yes I feel <laughs> I, I knew this feels like it's been done numerous times and I was yeah. kind of curious is this the first maybe I don't know I don't think it's the first but I think it's the the uh, the first where uh, the the baby was just put on some grass that was floating there and yeah. it just really you know it, it was the luck into, of the draw yeah it was, well she's <laughs> a special baby so yeah if you, you knew if it was going to survive it's, you know uh, <laughs> but but I, th- I thought it was funny you know it's like you know, when when the kids find him and uh, they run off and they say dada dada I, I, I think of it all the time because actually my, my boy used, has called me dada for like a while when he was a little bit younger so I thought of this movie like all the time ever since it that little kid's r- ridiculously cute too though well, those are cute, cute pecs yes you know what's <laughs> funny about those pecs too is little they, peckers <laughs> 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 they were in, in real life I mean, Warwick was only, what, like... 17. 17. 17 was, so yeah. those little kids were only, you know, 7 to 10, 10 years. Were, 10, were, 10 years and 12 years, I believe. That's hilarious. Right. They were young enough to be his siblings. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 mean, I, I couldn't tell. I mean, it's no, just yeah. part of the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you couldn't tell, but it was like, you could tell... His wife looked older than him. Yeah, thought, his wife know. looked older, but the men the men in general, maybe they just looked good. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, ma- the mayor guy didn't. 
Yeah. Uh, the main guy looked very But I, I love how, like, you know, Willow, he clearly has, like, no say. Like in anything he does, and no, even well, any type of life he has, you know, <laughs> and, he's, and he's got a bully burgle, but burgle, burgle cut, for, for burgle cut. <laughs> yeah, dude. But, you know, it's like burgle cut just like totally just rips him one, and then like his wife is just like, yeah, whatever, Willow, and just takes the baby inside after he's like, I forbid it, you know, and yeah. like she didn't give a shit. She's like, whatever, we're we're taking the kid well, inside. Not you know, it's the hero. It's the hero's tale. <laughs> it is. Quest. Well, the the you know the the hero who initially doesn't want to have anything to do with it, like tries to just when they when when the uh, uh, wizard or the Elwin, the older elder Elwin or whatever, yeah, um, who is played by the guy who plays by the way, Gwildor, in Masters that up, yeah. of the Universe. <laughs> <laughs> and when you see the p- comparison, you're like, holy shit, that is Gwildor. Uh, yeah, but. Uh, um, yeah, when they send him off, he, he gets to the crossroads where he eventually meets Mad, meets Mad Mardigan. Uh, yes. And he's just trying to give the kid to whoever. Daikini. Whatever, whatever yeah, Daikini. Yeah, right? Daikinis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but whatever Daikini wants it, you know, like, take this baby. Yeah, yeah. Please. Take care of it. Yeah. And that's when you first hear the word peck. Yeah. You know, you're like, okay, peck. <laughs> you know, looking at uh, Val Kilmer, who, you know, just doesn't really grow much facial hair sitting there in that cage. He's just, you know, he. He perpetually looks like a, like a you know rock star yeah throughout, throughout this movie <laughs> even when it's like you know he's he goes into drag which is later on but yeah like, his, <laughs> totally. like his, his whole thing it's like he plays this really good role of like i mean it's of of being a really nice guy but then just turning around just being like a, a like kind of a, a mean idiot you know yes where he's like you you take that thing peck and you shove it up your butt you know like kind of <laughs> stuff like that where it's just like what like why okay uh, <laughs> But yeah, that like th- that point in the movie, it's kind of this weird thing where it's like he's just trying to get rid of the kid as and not help him, and it's yeah. like this kind of it is a crossroads, you know. I mean, I think that's the uh, the whole point of it, really. Point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I love it. You know, he's like just Val Kilmer. He's just in there and he says all that shit, and and then I guess what happens is that when he actually gets out of it and, and post stage or you know like on off film, like the whole cage snaps and falls and lands on his foot. Yeah, I and like that, almost yeah. breaks it or whatever. I mean, and then he's like limping around through most some of the scenes later. Mm-hmm. But he can. And he has a noticeable limp too. Not in a lot of the no, scene. yeah. Like I, when he, he goes to the, the I, island, I watched it. I watched it thinking like, why is he limping? And because there was one <laughs> scene where I think like it, it closes up on Warwick's face, uh, Willow's face. I guess you can say if we're watching the movie, and uh, and you can see like as as Willow's walking, Val Kilmer's got kind of a little limp going in the background on, yeah. on the beach. I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. I didn't. And you don't put it together until you read things about it. Yeah, that's oh, funny. Because it's like you could almost rationalize it in your head, like, oh well, he's been sitting in a cage and he's beat up. Yeah. Or whatever, oh yeah, always. Know? I mean, there's there could be there could be something. I thought it was pretty funny though. It's like I, I found like the names in this movie they they were they were pretty pretty good really. Yeah. You know, and I mean, you had you had Bab Morda, you know, the the bad witch, you know, Vamp, yeah. Mad Mart again. I mean, I mean, the Sorcia, George Lucas, even George Lucas is good at coming up with names. Yeah, but then I thought he like dropped the ball with Eric. Yeah, you know, yeah. like the guy with you know the blonde, you know the blonde yeah. dude. He's like sees him in the and it's like Eric, and it's like yeah, he's from Earth. Yeah, it seems like it's <laughs> yeah. like like Eric, like the you know some Nordic guy. You know, okay, yeah, that just, makes sense. He's <laughs> Eric, the fighter. He did I wonder it. how pissed he was when he got his like you know role. He's like, fuck. Oh man, these sets are amazing. Jeez, look look, look at the wardrobe. This, this is unreal. <laughs> hey, hey, Kilmer, what part did you get? My name is Bad Mardigan. Oh, man, even the names are awesome. All right. Howard? All right, lay it on me. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> okay, here we go. What? Eric? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Eric, yeah. <laughs> out of everybody, it's like sweet. I'm in like a, a George. Lucas At least movie. it was spelled really weird. It was A I R K, so yeah. it was like Eric Thagerberger. Yeah. So at, least, <laughs> at least he had like a. He tried. Val, Kil- Val Kilmer just didn't sell it. But yeah. pretty much not, I guess. He could have been like Eric, you know, something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Eric. Well, his real name is like Gavin O'Hurley. I was like, you know, I mean, almost Gavin is okay, a better name than Eric, you know, or even like, you know, can you morph his real name to it. You know, what's crazy is I actually like that spelling of Eric. I do. I mean, I thought it was cool. I was going to say, <laughs> it's like, at least they, it gave him Eric, but at least they spelled cool it cool, but you don't know that in the film. General Kale. Yeah. Okay. So, so for the record, we love it. We love it. Yeah, we really like it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to name my son name. Eric with A. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Aldwin. Yeah. The, I like the pre, the, the, <clears throat> spiritual uh 
magic guy in the beginning. Yeah, I was going to say getting back to the uh, the, the 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 pecs. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's, let's call them pecs. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so uh, you know, you know, like back, I, I got this sense when I first started watching this movie, the whole village scene of the Elwins and like how they how they live and how they're really peaceful. Just, yeah, I, I, I sat there. I was like, did George Lucas just when he was filming Return of the Jedi? sit there when they like had a rehearsal with no Ewok <laughs> costumes on yeah. is he like you know what this I would can, work just make this a movie just, yeah just, this is yeah exactly <laughs> well you know you read i mean you read about how like he wrote this movie for, for work days yeah i did you know, he, after I did. he like you know met yeah. him off of uh you know so maybe like a huge yeah. influence right there he's like because yeah. it's like a real who's who of little people at this uh thing. yeah you know you see Kenny <laughs> baker making cameos yeah and, yeah uh, you got billy uh, or tony cox who's yeah, tony cox is a funny one Dude, he's, tony's in like every every movie that necessitates a, a little person <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i will say this this is this is a maybe kind of mean to say but i watched the movie at at 32 years old thinking differently than i watched it maybe at like 10 with my brother fred yeah and it was my thought the entire time was how hard this trek must be the way these little people have to walk like yeah I, there was one scene yeah. there was one scene with tony cox and the other little um the guardian guy uh they're oh, called yeah. like volker Vol- volkars or something Volcar, like that what was the there was like a main burgle butt came up with one oh yeah uh well, yeah, well his name was just volkar he's just volkar yeah, yeah and then the other they're just like labeled as volkar there's warriors, a scene where they were you know? trying to they were trying i think they were leaving and they were trying to hike up the hill or something yeah yeah and i just thought like god that that's <laughs> That was terrible. What a terrible journey. What a terrible person. Like, yeah, I'm I'm happy they made the journey, but yeah, yeah, it must have been a uh, must have been a struggle. It hurt, <laughs> it, it, hurt, it hurt me. And then and then later in the movie, uh, Val I, Val Kilmer picks him up and put, throws him on his shoulder. I was like, yeah, because yeah. that's what I would do. This is why I felt like this movie was perfect because it it just seems so like Lord of the Rings ish. I mean, it's very. It, I mean, some of the special effects were obviously dated, but I mean, but overall, I feel like you know it's a very kind of modernized movie, especially what we're all watching now, especially with Lord of the Rings and yeah. I mean, it feels very Shireish. Oh know, yeah, just everything. Yeah, it's like it's, like when you when you come up on the uh, the 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 element, it's like, is this the Shire or yeah. is it like like exactly. I was saying, it's like is it the Ewoks of <laughs> of Endor? Yeah, yeah. Are these the, I don't know. That I can't I can't get that out of my mind. So thank you for the <laughs> <laughs> just Ewoks eating lunch on their break or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> George Lucas. Just sitting in, on his chair, thinking I can yeah, do this. Exactly. This is this movie is going to happen. You no, know, he was sitting there going like, oh, well, I, can, <laughs> I think I can make this under a movie. Val Kilmer, did he have the uh, spot from the get go, or was there supposed to be someone else that was actually? Oh, yeah. you, oh, you know who was who's devastated that he didn't get the role, and I don't know if this Tom is Cruise? who you're getting at. Uh, yeah, right. No, 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 Tom, not Tom Cruise, <laughs> but uh, John Cusack. John Cusack, really? Yeah. yeah, and he was devastated that he didn't get it his biggest disappointment apparently i you know i have to say with his frailness i mean unless he like did some workoutness or I'm trying to think i, I of can't it, picture like, him being in that at all i'm not saying that he couldn't do it but no i'm saying he couldn't do it okay <laughs> I'll feel, I'll you, go you, it's been said it's like oh yeah michael j fox like no come on. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like him but val kilmer was, was a good <laughs> he was a good uh him, him and his wig it was it was good he reminded me of another Val Kilmer movie, which is Top Secret. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, but I enjoyed oh, that one. It was, oh, yeah. I think Top that Secret's was like a year amazing. or two before yeah, that. Yeah, I, I think that'll have to be done. But he had the yeah. swagger. He had that swagger of that one, too. So I yeah, like Val Kilmer in it. And, you know, like the like the scene where he's he's trying to um, get some and has to hide and uh, dress as a woman. And, you know, he's got the, the fruit tits and stuff like yeah. that. And it's... That I'm whole, sorry. When you took the apples out, the apples didn't match how no. big his, his ears were. <laughs> no, and, and, and like when silly. when Lug went in for a squeeze, it's like you you would know if there's apples in there or like a bag of flour or whatever. Dude, it I mean, like come on, it was like perfect. I mean, it's like gentlemen meet <laughs> Lug, yeah. also, and like he's such a Lug, and he even says like, mm, "Want a mate?" No, honey. Not a woman. Easy. Gentlemen. Not a woman. <laughs> meet Lug. Oh! Yeah, what? Or like, um, what did he say? He said something like that. He said, "Let's not exactly want to breed." Breed, yeah, breed, yes. yeah, breed. It's like it's so luggish, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a perfect luggish. Lug Which we're statement. getting to that scene without even starting talking about the brownies yet. True, you oh. know, uh, Kevin Pollock and uh, Rick Overton. Kevin Pollock yes. is finest. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. I didn't really, like, I didn't really enjoy the brownies. To be honest, if they left the brownies out, I would have been completely okay with it. Yeah, they seemed like a forced com- they were, comedy. They relief. were annoying to me. They didn't like they, need that comedy. They relief. were the C three PO of Star Wars. 
totally. they were just there for like you know to, kitty yeah. you know, comic relief kind of thing i mean they use the uh, lucas dichotomy there i guess yeah, yeah. Ex- yeah. kind of you know i mean that's how i felt about them i liked i liked the idea of them i liked how they filmed them i like you know certain things they did but i guess just I, those okay, two just when, yelling the entire time and when when you talk <laughs> when you talk about the realities of the physical ta- uh like uh, taxed uh taxing of the 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 little people you know climbing up hills or whatever probably scene after scene the whole idea that the brownies could keep up with these people on yeah the we're gonna track yes. you like you can't tra- how are you yes. gonna track them yeah like like that yes. scene i was like no way they're i mean they're we found behind. you they, they do yeah. that in multiple times in the movie and we'll get to those i mean you have to because you have to bring that up every time i've noticed that yeah but <laughs> i mean well the brownies brownies i mean they they were definitely just comic relief you know and they did always like you know no matter how far ahead they were they were always there yeah like and they right did, when the they scene did help had, i guess they helped too but i don't know they I, were like did uh, the jar jar binks to to me i didn't really totally the time exactly they're in that category but I mean, even, the, the comic doesn't. The comic relief doesn't. I mean, I mean, Gwildor. I'll, I'm just going to call him Gwildor because I can't <laughs> remember his real name. But hi, whatever. I mean, the whole, the whole thing with him, you know, it's like he he's kind of a shitty elder for like being a super wizard and all. It's like you yeah. know, I'm going to consult the bones, and he throws the bones down, and the bones say they nothing. don't say shit. And they're, they're fucking bones. They yeah. don't say anything. And then he goes, follow the bird, and the guy's like, the bird's going back to town. Follow the river. Go in the direction the bird is flying. Going back to the village. Ignore the bird. Follow the river. Yeah. You know, it's like the whole time they, he doesn't. He's not convincing as like anybody no. that knows anything. Well, you I know? mean, like you know, he's more convincing than Willow is at magic. With well, yeah, his, that's like, true. His awful sl- uh, like sleight of hand or whatever. But yeah, I, I I agree. It's like they set up the the Elwins is looking like kind of idiots. You know, that, that might compared be- to the like the. The other species, <laughs> the human species in the realm, it's like, right. you know, the, the, that understand magic and are like basically. I know people are so rude to them, too. Just like yeah. that lady kicks Willow like 15 times. <laughs> just padoosh. And Willow falls backwards and then gets back up. Just kadoosh. Like, what is, what is that? Totally. like, it just felt terrible for him. Yeah. Well, no should. one else gets kicked down like that every five minutes. And that poor baby, I don't know how that baby survived half the shit that happened. Oh, no. Uh, no. But baby at least we like, have a distressful baby in this one. I mean, it was yeah. like, it wasn't just it was chill the whole baby. time. I kept, tell, kept telling myself, it's a magical yeah. baby. It's a magical baby. Yeah, it had to be a magical baby. It but I, I mean, like, going back with what you said, I mean, even the three inch tall fucking brownies were like, Shut up, Peck. I mean, they like had nobody yeah. has respect for the Pecks. It doesn't mean you're three <laughs> inches tall, you're six feet tall. They don't give a shit. The Pecks suck. That's I mean, so true. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't know what it was, but the Pecks suck. Apparently, what did you do, Pecks? Well, if they're all like burgle butt or burgle cut, <laughs> burgle uh, cut <laughs> dicks. They're all, yeah, they're all arrogant, arrogant bastards. You know, and uh, but you know, at the same time, there was plenty of like it seemed like their way of life was very appealing. You know, like well, hey, let's, that's, yeah. let's farm and be like they're right sustainable. The they're they yeah. they can live off the land and be fine. Maybe that's what it is. It's like yeah. oh, you can just be fine. I hate you for but it. But it was really I felt really sorry for them when that fucking dog ran through their village and just was looking for a baby can you imagine that you you mean the disgusting rat dog the rat lion dog pig thing? pig thing i know <laughs> dude what the fuck i think they were just like rottweilers or something the, yeah they were i guess they were That's, just rottweilers with a bunch of hair on them but i mean seriously man like lions and by yeah. the way i have to say one thing you know it's like the baby is born which we didn't really touch on that the baby is born in the castle yeah and like everyone's being called and like you know she turns to the help and goes help me save my baby and they just put her in the thing and she just walks right out of the castle like right by bad morda and or bad whatever her name is bad morda like they don't pay attention to the help at all they just go right by and then and then by the time that they get down to the hall and notice that the baby's gone she's already like a quarter of a mile away from oh yeah just gone i mean Yeah. yeah i mean i just thought that was hilarious but is willow's wife just like uh kind of uh wet nursing this baby with some with some on on <laughs> on demand uh, breast milk. Oh the, no, they're probably giving suddenly. it. They're probably giving it pig milk. Like, well, target. yeah, 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 because that's all they had. They were plowing with a pig, not a cow. So. <laughs> there wasn't. You didn't see any goats. They might can do. They can do a goat milk. Yeah, there was probably goat. If there yeah. was you can goats, milk. A, you can milk a cat. Milk. So what about the love dust? The love. Oh yeah, yeah. The, uh, with the you know. I mean, in a you know, right then you know, Bav, it's uh, what, it's Mad, they, Mad Mardigan gets hit in the face with it and falls in love with uh, Sorsha. Sorsha, who is. In real life, uh, or they they were a, a actual married couple. Yeah, Val Kilmer and Joanne Whaley. She was pretty though. She was. She is. She worked out. She's she hot. was good. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely enjoyed she her. She had a she cool a costume too, like her helmet and sword combo. Actually, the costumes in general. Another, another fantastic, you know, set building, costume, makeup, all that shit. Once again, in another great fucking film. Yeah, I liked Willow. I like, I liked, uh, I liked a lot of parts about it. It was kind of, it was kind of slow, and I don't think it's a movie. I mean, maybe it's a movie that could come out today and it'd be okay. But I watch it, I watch it now, and I don't watch it the same as when I was young. So I don't, I don't know if Willow would hold true to all ages you guys have you guys you guys like my brother fred would have yeah a connection to it i'm you know you're old like i said you're, you're you were probably seven or eight when this movie came out i feel like the thing about it that like could only appeal to people nowadays is like the costumes the you know the art direction and stuff like that but like the fight scenes are super slow compared to what the people are capable of now yeah and uh and also the kind of cheesy nature of it like the fact that Willow, you know, manages to fight off a few trolls and like the ape trolls. I mean, yes. like, are we not going to talk about that? They, they, let's just put guys in gorilla costumes and um, calm trolls. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> werewolf I, trolls. I, I didn't know what else trolls. to call them either. <laughs> but uh, y- you know what I mean? Like the, the, they had to like, they couldn't use CGI to have Warwick Davis fight off these, these beasts. No. So they like had to have it play out. And choreography and it just looks so clunky and like all right, Warwick not- Davis like you know running over to pick up a sword but he can you know he can only run so fast and like picks up a sword and turns around and, like, <laughs> so, like, so let me ask you a question this and this is going to be very rude and I apologize if anybody gets offended that's actually listening to this but if you f- for example nowadays they would have just done what they did in Lord of the Rings and they would have just miniaturized Frodo whatever his whatever his right. real name is right right they they probably wouldn't cast fifty little people as as 250 200 okay well i understand yeah i figured they just what i figured they would just clone them or whatever but um (laughs) (laughs) you know on computer graphics that's a lot that's a lot of i don't think they would do that now i think that would go more into you know digitizing i agree i I don't know i mean which which maybe maybe if they did and this sounds terrible maybe if they did that i would i would i would and I don't want to take any roles away from from the little actors. I actually think the it, opposite but. now. I think I think to be honest. I mean, I think uh, let's be honest. I think Marvel and Star Wars is is bringing that back. Everyone's been honing for more s- practical effects again and less CG. It's kind of starting a new movement. <coughs> so maybe maybe I mean I'm not saying that. They I guess would. it was just it just made it so unbelievable. Yeah, it's, I think it's up to the director journey. now. And there might be like there might be little people who are more capable of stunts and stuff like that. I mean, this is back in the '80s. Yeah, and, like I'm sure a lot of uh, Warwick Davis's you know limitations were he was pretty young. You know, right? Like if he was if he was 17, it's like and you're in that you know yeah but i just mean like for example if they if if take it back whatever years and go and cast War- warwick davis as frodo instead of i can't blank on his name every time i bring him up elijah wood elijah yeah. wood if warwick david plays pl- played him you know and say yeah. sam was played by baker whoever wants whoever you know, <laughs> the only two I know. <laughs> right yeah it, how, how could i don't, i would have a hard time believing those two walking to mordor uh, t- totally you know okay. what I mean? No, no, and I just you know if if that's no, if I that's understand. Where, I, I understand where you're coming from. I don't know. I just I just was curious. I, I, when, I, when I watched it, I thought maybe I should ask you guys because you know I'm trying to be trying to keep. No, it I here. I agree. I, like I like I like I was kind of trying to say the same thing. Like the 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 fight scenes with Willow, and uh, I agree the journey aspect. Like it just didn't seem realistic, you know, because it was it was obvious that he you know he is slower. Than, than the rest, you know, and, 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 you know, without a horse, it's kind of hard to imagine somebody his size being able to not only walk as far as they did, but also endure it, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but when Willow is, is, you know, kind of lumbering around fighting the trolls, Mad Mardigan's going after the two headed beast, dude. Yes. Which, uh, by the way, the two-headed beast, did you know who it was modeled after? Yes, Clint Howard. <laughs> yeah. Cause, cause Ron Howard directed this, He's which we had mentioned. Right? Yes. But yeah, Clint Howard has always made an appearance in all of his movies, and then I guess in this one they couldn't find anything other than for him to be the model. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the model of the dragon. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> which it's was like, weird how it like manifested from like the wand on that hairy 
gorilla ape thing and all of a sudden you can see like that crazy stop motion animation of it like peeling back like a brain and all of a sudden these worm things came out of it yeah i mean it was a weird manifestation of this whatever the hell that was and it to fell that. into the water and, and once the yeah. water started boiling it was like oh well shit something's gonna happen yeah like, it's, it not, was it's like, not just disappearing yeah. like, and then, shit's it was, <laughs> yeah. then it was that and then it, it went thing on then it came us, out as you know? that i was like what the hell i just figured it was like a weird spell or something like that you know like uh the beast yeah no and at shit. that moment she fell in love with Val Kilmer that's what I, I was gonna go I, I was gonna go the minute you know the, uh, the minute he shoved you the do. sword through the thing's head and it blew she's like I want, yeah. I want that dude but yeah. I mean their whole relationship was terrible you know I mean he was oh, making yeah. just classic jokes all the way through you know she's riding the horse after they got captured and he's like you know well, she's she, all what are you looking at she's he like hated my, your leg and I'm yeah. looking to break it you know I mean there was constant battle and she got some good fucking shots too I mean she's yeah, she you know what did she do? She kicked him in the face first, and she nut- she just cracked him in the throat, and then hit him in the groin. I mean, it was just she was just beating his ass the whole time, and yeah, but she was a bitch. She was a badass bitch. I mean, that's all she was in that movie. And and then like like you said, you know, she finally fell in love with him because he's actually is a badass himself and was kicking some seriousness. Um, yeah, you know the castle scene. Yeah, when he's uh, battling Cal, that's a that's a pretty good fight, you know for for how clunky all this uh you know combat choreography in this movie is <laughs> there was some serious whiffage and yeah. like they were still falling over and i mean <laughs> yeah yeah the choreography yeah. was pretty bad but i, was, I did I, I did like how he killed him though you know how he yeah. like bent the sword or braced it with his foot and then impaled him on it that was pretty rad i was kind of disappointed about the, by the uh the good witch the, the good, good witch the good wizard yeah she was like Rizelle. she was Rizelle. a squirrel and then she was a raven or whatever oh yeah, yeah. Kept her transformation but like even then even when she came out i do i was hoping she'd be some just badass wizard and she was just some old lady that yeah didn't yeah. really do much well the whole end fight yeah. scene between the two wizards they fought like old people it yeah. was like hilarious i mean there was no real like i wasn't impressed by anybody no. during no. that entire fight well you know? she says <laughs> she like, says as a squirrel like turn me into a human and i will kill every single person on the battlefield and i was like yeah she's probably got some sweet power <laughs> and then nothing and then no she, she just like, turned every, oh yeah i'm a beautiful she turns young all lady. the soldiers into pigs well the the were pig scene that was a that was the bad witch like yeah. that was her one that, right i mean that she, was a, she obviously had some power that to was her. a disturbing scene when it was like i mean they were like like might as well have been werewolves but pigs were they turning into actual pigs they were they ended up turning into actual pigs they turned in yeah they they fully turned into pigs uh very disturbingly and uh you know when they got turned back all their clothes got i mean that was kind of a that yeah that was the weird part too that's like the only scene in this whole movie i think i I was really i thought it would have been funnier if she like turned them all back and they're all naked and they're like (laughs) (laughs) what are we gonna do (laughs) (laughs) especially sorsha yeah. I wouldn't have minded that. Yeah, <laughs> that 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 was definitely be foreseeable. She got turned full pig. <laughs> okay. You know, for a little, did you know? Apparently, all the pigs were fucking when they were like, you know, <laughs> oh yeah, outside, and they had to like hose them down with the cold, cold water. water. You had to keep <laughs> <laughs> just to get the pig fucking to stop. Okay, I have to go back a little bit though because the whole um the whole ice yeah snow sled scene yeah which is very Lucas. I mean, it was very reminiscent of Temple of Doom and just like just epicness. And I love the whole, I don't know if you guys caught it, but like after Mad Morgan falls off the sled and then it's just Willow, it's a total like Chucky doll just like flying down with a sled. (laughs) It's like, it's just like this stiff thing. It's just like, it's like wobbling as it's like, (laughs) it was like really bad. (laughs) I'm going to have to go back and look at that. Oh no, it it, it was great though. But, but actually what made me think of this too, and then I didn't even know it, but uh, the guy named, his name is, Pat Roach and he plays Jennifer, General Jennifer General Crawl Crawl Crail Crawl, but he is in like every Indiana Jones movie. He is the guy oh, yeah. who plays the guard in Temple of Doom. Like you can just hear it in his voice. He goes, "They're so hard." It's like that got that crazy crackle. He's also the big guy in, in Raiders of the Lost Ark that kicks his ass at the plane. Oh, I mean, okay. he's just like in everything, yeah. like Lucas oriented kind of. Did I you mean, notice how at the end and during the witch fight, uh, in the in the fight in the castle, they had like that that typical Star Wars yell, like the guy falling in the Sarlacc pit. You know, oh, like the, the Wilhelm uh, scream or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I guess they, it was like they had to drop one of those in there. <laughs> I think there was then, three. And then when the uh, good witch is punching the shit out of the bad witch, it's full on Indiana Jones style punching. You know? Oh, dude, it's just like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was crazy i mean i mean i was actually surprised that it wasn't done by um blanking on the score oh john, uh, john williams. williams i was really surprised that it wasn't done by john williams yeah 
Yeah, and and I guess whoever did the score, I didn't write that down. But it was uh, James Horner. That score was used and abused, you know, because he he sold it to whoever wanted to use it, right? And that's why I mean I knew I'd heard it more than once. Like oh, I yeah. was like, "This is Willow," because I feel like I've heard that elsewhere. Definitely, you know? yeah, definitely. Oh, I, it's, it's been yes. I absolutely. thought it was just a I thought it was just a Lucas thing. It, it, it felt like I was watching maybe a different planet, planet on Star Wars because yeah. yeah. But this guy, I mean, a lot Jay, of the music was it's, there. It's funny because I mean, you you know certain of the scores, you know, like Danny Elfman, you know, John Williams, because you know yeah. the, your name their names are thrown in your face all the time. But this guy, I mean, this guy has done some great movies. What I else mean, has he yeah, done? Well, he's yeah. done uh, Titanic. He did Avatar, Braveheart, Troy, Deep Impact, Apollo 13. I mean, and the list goes on. I mean, great movies. Yeah. I mean, con- consistent, consistent good movies. Like 90% of them I would own. Braveheart is a really good song. So, uh, yeah, it's just what I mean. He's he, you know, definitely a guy. I don't want to close that kinda... my eyes. <laughs> I don't want to fall asleep. That's a, that's a great one. I don't think he wrote that, though. I think that might have mm-hmm. been, been Aerosmith. I don't believe so. Well, actually, I mean, I want to go back to uh, to Eric because I, I really felt that this guy could have been way cooler than he was. Not only did he have like a crap kind of name, but it was cool spelling. But like the whole time, <laughs> I mean, the whole time you see him, it was like negativity. Like he was like, yeah. Well, I don't know. At first, I thought he was pretty excited. He was like, no, he was super oh, excited. Oh, Marty, you son of a bitch. Oh, you <laughs> fucking oh. I, I mean, that was, like, just, that was no, a big burned. moment. You stay here and you fucking die, bitch. Like, yeah, oh, jeez. Yeah. Like, that was his big so moment. Because then after that, you see him as just a cry fest. Like, I like, lost I fi- my man. You're a bastard. He's you know? like, I fight for like- Dorn. You fight for Jon Snow. He's yeah, like- exactly. <laughs> it's like, whoa. And I thought it was really funny, too, because he seemed so happy to see him. But, like, he hates him. Kind of. Yeah, thing. exactly. Yeah, no, but then, were- like, he sees, you know, like, uh, like Willow. And he's just kind of like, uh, a peck. Uh, you know? Damn like, pecks. Even though you're not a murderer or in a crow's nest, I'm going to treat you like shit. Yeah. You know, but this you know, guy here, I love this guy. <laughs> also, the one thing that was kind of funny about that, too, is he was in the, Matt Mardigan was in the cage, and he's like, Eric, you need me. Like, he's, you need my sword. I promise you, you're going to need it. And then he's like, nah, come on. And they walked away, and then later, later you'll, they, they meet up again. And he's like, you're so lucky you didn't come. Half my people would have died. Yeah, like, exactly. If you, they wouldn't have died if I was there, you son of a bitch. I told you <laughs> yeah, you needed me. could have saved yeah, everybody. Yeah. You, you should have let me out. Of the, you know, so. Yeah, essentially. But then he you was, can't trust Val Kilmer. So. Yeah. yeah, definitely not. He's a thief yeah, and he's a liar. A, he's a thief, but he's super sensitive. I mean, sensitive in the sense like he, he has thin skin. You know. Yes, he has a soft But he's spot. also a softy like with, uh, you know, like the, the baby. Like he immediately becomes very parental with this magical baby. baby though i think like once again i think it's that's a raising arizona type thing like it yeah. was just it was just magic oh yeah it, it, you know uh, kids I, I i never would have imagined a kid could have an effect like uh, but my own kid for sure it's it's pretty captivating but yeah like him feeding her the root and developing this you know bond with her while willow's getting pretty you know butthurt like no yeah the fucker bitches like all the time yeah. and always at the worst time You never, ever drive that fast with an infant. You know, yeah. like they're being chased, and he's like, "Matt Mardigan, slow this chariot down." Yeah. And you're just like, "No, thought, this is not the fucking time." I <laughs> thought that scene. I was like, oh. "Like it was just cracking you me up." You don't go like, so fast with the baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, the whole time, dude. Baby. She needs to be changed. <laughs> it's like the worst fucking time. I'm getting killed right now, and you're telling me to do shit. Yeah, yeah. That that I thought that was a that was a fun scene with the uh, the, the escape from the the bar and on that uh, oh, yeah. wagon. And oh, the. <laughs> the 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 ninja star you know like <laughs> it's like uh, everything's very pretty much pre- predictably medieval in this movie and then and this then ninja star the ninja star out of nowhere <laughs> <laughs> like what is your okay? well, if you I think got it when I went to Japan last like, year <laughs> yeah. I think it's George Lucas saying like well I mean if I had a chance to do a sequel there was gonna be ninjas so. <laughs> 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 you know what's funny is Val Kilmer when he looked at it and he was even like what the fuck is that a ninja star <laughs> so even he was surprised yeah. but not seriously what the I, did, I did read yeah. that he like pretty much ad-libbed like all of his lines Val Kilmer yeah like I don't know if that's he just funny. didn't remember any of them or he just went for it I don't know maybe but. that's why he sounds like such a, kind of a butthead sometimes just like uh, go get me some eggs. You yeah, know? Like, <laughs> like things that aren't. Yeah, just not like not quite right. Like, why would he say them? But then, <laughs> yeah, like, he's just making them up as he goes. Yeah, I guess exactly. it makes sense. <laughs> well, I mean, even like the jokes were like kind of 
like nowadays you know like even when she's like she's all lose your skirt and he goes i still got what counts yeah and she just whaps yeah. him like in the fucking face i mean like it was like they're good haters yeah you know it's like what i don't like her i don't love her she kicked me in the face i mean it was just like yeah i mean uh, not not but expected that for that like, or whatever i know these exactly. freaking yeah. these freaking little brownies are walking around with a bunch of ecstasy or something in their pockets like, what, <laughs> what's going on i didn't know what, like he literally was like tripping balls and he yeah, well, I mean, that's that's funny. Those fairies, dude. Dude, yeah. And then, like, that one gets drunk, and he's just all fucked up. Yeah! <laughs> How convenient, too, for, like, when the when the brownies show up to break them out of that jail. It's like the lock is on the floor. <laughs> it's just like... Okay. Well, yeah. the brownies need to show up. Yeah. They're like, we're going to get you out of here. Hey, look, the lock is right here. <laughs> you didn't have to do any climbing or anything. I'm going to I'm gonna get my le- tiny little spear out. <laughs> <laughs> Some freaking brownies. <laughs> that would suck to get, you know, a bunch of little arrows from the brownies, though. I'd probably get annoying after a while. Uh, Maybe like yeah. the little mosquitoes. They just sound like they hurt. You know who we didn't, you know who we didn't give a shout out to? Because I enjoyed his presence in the movie. Was, uh, w- was his friend. What was his friend's name? Oh, oh yeah 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 uh migosh okay so in my opinion if you would have taken migosh and replaced migosh and just put him where the brownies were and just have like yeah. maybe migosh get lost and then he somehow caught up yeah. and let them out like i just first i don't know i don't know what it was about the brownies the dynamic between the two characters could have been great i mean just like some, yeah i thought it was, really you know, it, was, it was really it was really close to like a samwise gamgee and frodo feeling to I, me yeah you know it know might have I mean? been so maybe maybe it was too much to that and so they didn't go that or i don't know yeah but. that's a good question because it you know the brownies all they offered was just like this kind of like hey look what we can do with special effects kind yeah of thing and their comedy was unnecessary that's but, true but at the same time i can see why it's like maybe i don't know i don't know where kevin pollock's career was at that point but was he somebody that can go like oh and kevin pollock's in it too you know i, I don't think i don't think at that point yeah like so, later on you know like suicide kings and shit yeah, so I don't know. I don't. I don't care. even know if Kevin Pollock is that now. Is he? I mean, if <laughs> I'm not gonna go, <laughs> I'm not gonna be like. <laughs> Poor Kevin. Oh shit! Pollock. Did you hear the movie comes out Friday? What movie? Oh. The movie with Kevin Pollock comes out Friday. What, no, mo- it, what movie is that? No movie. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. nobody, nobody, nobody says that. Your mother was a lizard. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> So I feel that. Uh, now I feel that for Kevin yeah, Pollock. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed him in K-Pack. Oh, that was spacey. Yeah, he was. Well, he, he no, was. Pollock he was good in just, Usual Suspects. But, you that's know. what I was thinking of so Usual Suspects that's so what I meant not else. Suicide Kings so, yeah, was he in Usual I thought that was Spacey too so Spacey is in all also in yeah. Oh. yeah yeah they were both in that but I mean I, I mean let's, let's talk <laughs> I mean how Eric died which which was pretty yeah. good yeah but it was you mean like his, though, you mean like his, you mean like his death scene well the whole because, thing I mean he gets that. stabbed and he goes mm. And like spits in his face, and then he gets yeah. stabbed again. And but yeah, then the death scene. Yeah, then when he's dying in uh, Mad Mardigan's arms, and he's just like <laughs> <laughs> super dramatic. Right. Yeah, super dramatic death scene. Yeah, I, I thought about when I saw, it, I was like, man, he's a good, he's a good death actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like definitely over the top death. I Either mean, that, or he was like, you know, when George Lucas was like, um, you know, I, I really want you to be in this movie. Uh, we're gonna call you Eric. I know you've probably been in roles where you're called Eric because you look like a Nordic. Guy. You look yeah, like an yeah, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> but tell you what, I'll let you do a dramatic death scene. And he was like, "I'm in." I'm um, yeah, because that's what it looked like. It's got to be right at the end of the movie, though. I need to be in the most movie possible. Yeah. So Fergal Gut or whatever his name is, Fer- Fergal Bur- Burgle 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 Hut Burgle Bur- Fut Burger Burgle Bur- Bur- Fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Bur- Burgle Cut. Burgle Cut. There Burgle. you go. They he's finally like, yeah, make the, it to the, the crossroads, <laughs> and then, like he's like, "Let's go." I just find it funny that you know, like the the uh, the warrior was just like, "Yeah, let's go." And like usually, I would feel like if the warrior was there, he'd be like, "No, we should go and fight." Yeah, or, but remember, you know, he, he didn't I mean, have a say. Remember? Well, Bur- I mean, he Bur- Cut, his, he was like, the what the fuck Bur- is Burglecut gonna do? Burglecut was the, the leader. Bones said the he bones was the leader. Said he was the leader. So yeah, I guess. But uh, I think Willow went against the bones. I think what we're talking about totally. right here, we're basically breaking down why the brownies exist. I think, I think Migosh went away because I think George Lucas realized this is Lord unreal- of the Rings, <laughs> or, or it's just unrealistic to have more than one little person survive this this right. trek and uh, adventure. You know, because it, it was pretty surprising that Willow survived it with all everybody around him getting killed yeah exactly and stuff like that how, how would you you know but yeah but yeah so maybe he was just like okay so if we have the brownies who are like another kind of vulnerable species but they're like so small that they will never get touched by this battle or horses that are trampling on them like 
Yes, but they do things. Yeah, <laughs> it's like and they're and they're part of the fairy world, and so that yeah, you know, I can see. I, I'm starting to see the rationale for having them because yeah, because I feel like if Migosh was there and they weren't, I, the movie would have been appealing, but. It would have been ridiculous if both Migosh and Willow survived it. You know, it's like, yeah. like and you know, it is getting Lord of the Ringsy because it's like a, a journey. You know, right? So the one thing you wouldn't like about the movie is Migosh survived it. Like that's, that's the one <laughs> you would thing have to die. It. it would just be like doubly unrealistic. Not that, <laughs> not that it's realistic in general, but like Willow surviving everything. But okay, Migosh survived. Oh, this is it. I'm done. I don't, I don't watch the <laughs> oh, Migosh is going. Wait, he better not survive <laughs> because if he does, I'm not going to press play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, favorite name in the whole movie was Finn Raziel. I liked I liked the wizard's name. Other than that, it was good. It was a good flick. I appreciate I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the the shout out for the movie. I remember oh, yeah. seeing. I was three when it came. I out. remember seeing the previews for this movie when I was a kid and just being like, "Whoa, okay, this looks." Because it they showed like the dogs in the preview and the the Absolutely. cow's cow's face uh, skull face. I think thing. that's what it was for me. Was the skull face? Yeah. You know, I, I remember I, I, I wanted to be that for Halloween, and yeah. I was like, you know, man, I, I want that mask. That's well, so I was awesome. pretty much into He Man at the time too. You know, yeah, so it was very yeah, so it was very skeletorish, totally. and you know, so you see that on screen, you're like, shit, yeah, I want to, I want to watch this, and you know, I've always been like the fantasy and sci-fi guy, so that was, yeah, that yeah. was, it was, it was destined to happen. Uh, but I did think it was funny. I mean, just like I mean, kind of talk about a little bit of the end real quick. I mean, you know, the 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 final fight scene when you know Rizal and uh, Bav Morda are going at it and then you have willow fighting that mechanical like droid yeah there's, it's a lucas film there's got to be some sort of a droid in it so totally. it's going to be a fantasy droid and it was a stop motion thing yeah and you know i mean i just thought that was hilarious and yeah definitely the, worth a little mention yeah and it was you know? kinda, it was i mean it was i just feel like they like we're, we can't make this totally threatening because it'll be unrealistic that <laughs> yeah, willow could defeat kind it. of right <laughs> they, don't <laughs> scare, they don't want to scare little kids either, yeah you know? or yeah like <laughs> exactly. let's make like a patio table attack <laughs> i wish i would knew what it was it was like i had like it opened its mouth once it had like a bunch of skulls in it or something like yeah. that so it was like okay yeah. but whatever it was that whole like you know because they get there the night that they're that the the baby is being put up on the altar like the ritual was supposed to go yeah, yeah. It, what a long ritual i mean are yeah, you kidding it was me like, like the they, whole battle all those people get turned into pigs and then they they they're fucking all night and then <laughs> when they get cold water thrown on them the next day they turn to people again and, and and then they they draw they lure the you know the legion out to like sneak in and then all this time the queen hasn't even fucking gotten on with the ritual like nothing's you know? been done yeah like 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 it's it was I, and that's I, the other part that bugs me too it was like right at the end like you know he di- makes the disappearing baby trick yeah and she takes the wand and suddenly this lightning strike hits her yeah. and she just like vaporizes yeah like the ritual was complete yeah i was kind of on wondering her that too. instead uh, yeah i'm like okay so she's not in a body anymore but she's everywhere yeah I, I mean i didn't really get and like she just kind of vanished and it was over yeah and it was like the defeat i mean of she's bad morta she but like at the same agony, time but like, yeah same yeah, I'm time. A little screaming but but yeah, it was. I wasn't convinced that she was like destroyed. It was, it was like that was like, what they were waiting for the whole time, or something. And then she just happened to be there for the strike. I mean, I just didn't really get that. That yeah. was the one part or, that I didn't really get. Or if you like want to just like take the easy way out, you say like, "Oh, that's like the good force that's you know taking her out because right, you uh, know, you know the, it knows that she's trying to take out the princess and the good guys must win." Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that was that was about it. You know, I mean, that's all I can really think about it. That I mean, it was just. And then you go of, like, oh fucking Migosh lived. So because <laughs> this went to a because that's the part you don't like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on, like, can you imagine if it was like Migosh and Willow up there fighting the ape trolls, and like <laughs> all the ape trolls were doing was draping their arms over them, so like the just little like, people can fight back pathetically, just like putting their arms on the heads so they can't quite swing and hit them. And uh, just, like bullies. I just mean, I'm cool. sure if you talk to Peter Dinklage off the record, he be like that was piss poor like fighting you know? I mean, <laughs> with all due respect to warwick davis that was I me mean, that was like that was 88 i mean they they did what they could at the at the time i guess yeah no i, I don't want to piss on this movie but that, that part that that's when chris was going on his little uh walk about with the uh you know like the physical the, limitations the, right I, that's my the scene that like sticks out when it's like he survives on the tower across the bridge See, this is why it's funny when you rehash this at 2017 because yeah. you look at it like a completely different avenue. Yeah. You know, because before you're a kid, it's like, yeah, those they just they kick some ass, man, and like that was it. Yeah. And now you're looking at it, going, you know, that was kind of like yeah, they're little people. Why are they gonna be able to do that stuff? Yeah. yeah. But you know, they we're looking at it at that. And I mean, like, it, yeah, it was at least watch com- the movie. It's still fucking good. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't listen to the shit we're saying. It's Let's good. Into the certain, no, yeah, it's good. It's, it's a good movie. <laughs> it is. I appreciate people listening to it anyways. Yeah, I don't Besides, have... I mean, like, in the very end of the movie, is pretty much, you know, he goes back to the Shire, and all is loved and wonderful. Yeah, and he's a hero. The hero that's, story That's ends. the end, you know? They do the whole kissy-kissy, and, uh, you know, right at the end, Val Kilmer has way too much makeup on. Yes. And he's got, he's got makeup face, and, you know, he, he's got a beautiful head of hair. <laughs> so i mean like he is pretty at the he end does. of that <laughs> he looks yeah i mean he lo- he looks very done up it's, oh it's un- it's kind like of unbelievably it's kind he's of always pretty weird. though uh, yeah. he was he was a pretty man then i guess um you know it was kind of sad about this movie in terms of uh the the way it was promoted was that that val kilmer got the top bill and oh yeah and uh joanne whaley got the second billing and then, and then Warwick, Warwick Davis got the third, even though he played the yeah he's yeah. the main character, the protagonist, and it's like, you know, yeah. even George Lucas was, didn't like yeah didn't like that, you know, and yeah. it wasn't up to him, it was Sucked. up to you know the, that does suck yeah so it's, clearly a studio decision probably yeah studio yeah. decision and because uh, she was I mean no offense but she was barely in the freaking movie dude and not only is she barely in the movie like she doesn't do much acting I think she had like eighteen minutes of screen time it like she's like. just mad and yelling and yeah. like like scorning at at val kilmer yeah, for the and, first and beating his ass i mean that's all he did she did yeah. you know but they but those two were the appealing names because she was in some movies at that point you know um, that's lame yeah it's totally lame especially uh considering the movie is called willow mm-hmm. you know it's yeah. not called mad mart again no <laughs> which i would have seen either way but yeah, i mean but yeah I, I, yeah but cool it, name, still yeah you, you don't do that but anyway that's you know once again probably a product of the times for sure you know that's the way it goes and uh another did you know uh to uh did you know it was filmed in bernie falls there was that but yeah I uh, heard not all of it but yeah yes, yeah yeah a lot of it was filmed in bernie falls which is not too far from us here in chico that's uh that's in northern california i did think it was funny since you brought that up though it's like i, I think uh lucas uh, asked for permission to do some shooting in china oh and yeah. he said it's a flat out said fuck you and yeah. no way so he said like a you know just a, a fleet of photographers over there and i think that's where they got the the ending shot of the Shire, I'll call it oh, that. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's all those crazy mountains in the background. I think right. that's where they got that shot. Because, you know, then they're not rendering CGI backdrops for that. I mean, it was probably yeah, no. something like that. That makes sense. I mean, it makes me want to visit China, I can tell you that, because that was fucking gorgeous. That was cool. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, and I think that's real, where they got yeah. it. But yeah, so anyway, um, I think uh, we got anything else. I think we'll probably close this out. No, appreciate it. Um, yeah. Actually, I mean, I, I want to say one more thing. Um, I think uh, the next, next series... Um, well, we're going to do Die Hard, I guess, next. Oh, yeah. Die okay. Hard. That's right. Best Christmas movie out there. But I think after that, I was going to say, I'd like to, I think we should start like our, our guilty pleasure um, series. So uh, elaborate on what a uh, guilty pleasure is, Jason. Movie, um, okay, let's put it this way. A movie that you think in a, in a perception that would probably not be everybody's favorite, but that you just couldn't stop watching or absolutely loved when you were growing up so kind of thing so like because uh, we've clearly been doing good movies right it could be a bad movie that you like right or else like yeah exactly it could be anything whatever you couldn't stop watching when you were a kid regardless of what you think anybody else at this table is going to think all right kind of something like that you yeah. know basically you're trying to sell a movie that you think either a you think you're going to love or you're not sure if anybody's going to like it's like porn yeah exactly <laughs> all right so, so whatever so, so since you're talking about it and you picked this movie that we're watching what movie are you gonna like? Give me an example. Okay, well, I've I've said this to you guys a number of times. Mine's gonna be Ice Pirates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think this yeah. movie. I mean, this is no. This movie is no more ridiculous than I say than Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah. I think it ranks right up into that like kind of absurdity style. I'm, I've never seen it, but I, I got it. Yeah, you it's a sci-fi. It. It's a it's a sci-fi comedy. It's yeah. basically like I think I best I can describe it as Spaceballs meets uh, Road Warrior really yeah okay uh, i i don't know i really i mean because there's some crazy yeah it's it's uh, one of those movies that i love i think you guys would like all right so ass pirates so, so ass pirates <laughs> yeah so, so we talked about that. we talked about porn so that's welcome no. Jason's Jason, guilty pleasure <laughs> that's gonna be my guilty pleasure is ice pirates nice okay so, so uh, that, that that clarifies what uh yeah yeah so i mean it's just a movie just whatever you know it's something yeah. that you couldn't stop watching yeah regardless if you think it's good or not whatever that kind of thing totally cool so, all right, so I think uh, that's it for Cinema Stash Rehash. Uh, join us for Die Hard. See ya. Next Later. episode. Later. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening to Cinema Stash Rehash. Be sure to give us some awesome iTunes reviews, like us on Facebook, 
Don't forget to check out past episodes and join us next time on Cinema Stash Rehash. 